Oh, they're gonna get baser. I know baser means either make love or kiss. Yeah, okay. 17th of July, summer break. So they're gonna get their first kiss in this chapter. Okay. Ugh. So tired. Oh, because I slept very late last night. Is it with Ruiko? Nah. <laughs> uh, she, well, Masai is sleeping in his own room. In the end, between the black tea and my excitement from the night before, I hadn't sleep much at all. Slept much at all. That excitement was of course due to how much I was looking forward to spending time in the water with Ruriko-san. Oh yeah, today right? It'll just be the two of us too. With Pan- not two of us, Pantabelle too, you know? That's three. As far as the members of both the White Lily Society and Red Rose Society were concerned. I believed I was on good terms with all of them as friends, but it felt like I would hardly... Or rather, I had hardly spent any alone time with one specific person. This kind of thing has never really happened to me before, but it was finally going to happen today. <laughs> Not to mention we're going to swim around that beautiful lake. I was pretty fond of swimming all on its own, but it went without saying that I was looking forward to seeing Ruriko-san in her swimsuit most of all. Actually, the sentiment that it goes without saying is only natural for a healthy boy, right? Hmm? It goes without saying, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think it made me an especially perverted guy or anything. You are though, Masaya, judging from what you what you do what you did in those in the in the in the epilogues. <laughs> Heck, Ruiko San's appeal was on its own special level. Yeah, definitely. Not only was she gorgeous, her figure was out of this world and she has this huge breast. <laughs> Honestly, I had gotten quite an eyeful that time I cleaned the pool with everyone. Oh, come to think of it, this man should end up seeing the scar on my back. Well, would you want to see show her the scar? Ah, uh, yeah, well, whatever. You shouldn't really bother her or anyone else. Yeah, heck, heck that scar. The biggest problem was that, as usual, I didn't know the swimsuit. But we can always find some shots or something. Now was around the time for Ruriko san and I to meet up. So I left my room. It was only the first day of summer break, but it really felt like the entire dorm was empty. Ah, ah, so hot. The weather was great today. Perfect for swimming. Hey Ruiko, you and your hat. And you too, Panda Bell. Cool. Hello. Well, kind of, but it's exciting at the same time. Doki Doki? It does. <laughs> Naughty. Uh, maybe it is? Ruriko-san put a finger against her cheek and thought it over. Okay, but the thing is, you know me, so that's different. <laughs> hmm. You always have a bodyguard with you, right? She nodded. Rise san had mentioned it once before. But even at Van Sands, where rich girls from across the country congregate, Ruriko-san was the only one who actually had a bodyguard. Oh. She couldn't even freely make a trip to the convenience store alone. A lifestyle like that was difficult for me to imagine. What something else is that? What was that? Oh, that you don't have to worry, Ruriko, because your father has already given me the approval. <laughs> yeah, but that's all in the past. Y- yeah. Since she was the only daughter of the Kamiyagi group, I'm sure there were a lot of guys out there who have tried to get close to her. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I can protect you, Ruriko. Yeah, shall we go then? Hi. 
Alright, we go to the plate. Actually, the oh Ruko, you, you don't have enough sleep. Oh yeah, that was last night, right? But uh, did you bring your swimsuit or something? I hope you do. Are you getting tired? No, it's not something you need to apologize for. Why are you embarrassed? I'm here. <laughs> I gazed at her face, feeling a bit refreshed. Well, look, and you hear those cicada sounds? Oh yeah, it's pretty damn loud. But <laughs> Ruikosan was always so mad, but even now she had a very ladylike side to her too. Based on what a friend of mine said, who had a sister that actually went to an August school, the students there were really brutal. Well, those cicadas really are loud, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank goodness nobody of sense was like that. Seriously. But you did make sure to cover your mouth when you did it. <laughs> yeah, at least you're being polite. Couldn't sleep either? Looks like I'm not the only one. Yes? Oh, you, so you couldn't sleep because you're looking forward to, to, to today? Me too. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, Ruriko, you out of breath? Want me to piggyback you or something? <laughs> Ruriko san took an oddly captivating breath like she always did. Masaya, please. I bet of you don't think dirty again. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, this mountain path wasn't all that intense. Was her being out of breath due to how unfit she was? Or because of those huge pillowy mounds attached to her chest? Does that really matter though? The mounds? <laughs> the mounds really made her tired? It's basically like the weights attached to her. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, wanna push on the back? Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, what? What? Whoa, what? Are you, are you two gonna kiss? <laughs> she tripped on something and fell into my chest. Oh, the, the boobs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. We're so close together. What should we do? <laughs> Just like that, both of our bodies tensed up. My hands were directly touching her bare shoulders. Oh yeah, those exposed bare shoulders, oh yeah. <laughs> she was flushed with a subtle sweat from the summer heat. <sighs> her eyes were glazed over as she looked up at me. Was this her sweat? A sweet aroma grazed my nose and sent my mind reeling. <gasps> oh, the sweat smells so nice. Oh, oh my god, my <laughs> Oh, Ruko, are you smelling my sweat too? <laughs> oh my god. Her crystal clear eyes seemed to pull me in, and we gazed deeply into each other's eyes. Better Bell, um, excuse us for a moment, you shouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> At the sound of Pentabell's voice, we snapped away from each other. Oh, see Pentabell, you distracted us. You should excuse us for, for a moment. The cries of the cicadas, which had faded from consciousness, now drove straight into to the center of my mind. It felt like my brain had gone completely numb. <laughs> oh no, Ruriko, don't score yourself being thick headed. You're not. Not at all. I made up my mind, took a step forward, and grabbed her hand. Oh, you're grabbing her hand. That's quick, Masaya. For a moment there, she twitched in response as though she had touched something hot and hard no, no <laughs> and then blushed. Uh, rather than pushing you by the back, I think this way would be much easier. Oh, by holding her hand? Okay. That kind of sounds like an excuse. <laughs> Saying that left a bitter taste in my mouth, so I shook my head. 
Uh, no, that's not it. I just want to hold your hand. Is is that okay? Oh, Ruko! My heart was pounding. So is Ruriko's. Even for me, that was a bit forward. So Ruriko-san was probably even more surprised than I was. Her eyes went white for a few seconds, but her expression quickly softened. <laughs> oh yeah, we got her approval. As I held her hand, a sense of euphoria washed over me, as if I were walking on air. Oh Jesus! <laughs> in doing so, Ruriko-san gave my hand a light squeeze in return. Just like that. We are holding hands. She then flashed me a shy smile. The, the euphoria I felt quickly grew stronger and stronger. Oh yeah. We're here! A cool breeze blew across the lake's surface, and it felt wonderful against my sun-baked body. Though I was willing to bet the summery climate wasn't the only cause of my rising body temperature, of course, that's Ruriko too. I let go of Ruriko-san's hand. You're welcome, very much welcome. No problem. <laughs> oh, Pendabelle, oh, the side of the lake. Yeah, she's going to, he's going to jump into the water again. Pendabelle squealed happily, jumped down from his usual spot, and nimbly rushed towards the lake. Yeah. He was normally though cow or perched on Ruriko-san's shoulder, so seeing him run around playfully was refreshing. <laughs> so cute, Pentabelle. He lapped around, splashing in the water, and started swimming dexterously, just like he had yesterday. Alright, sure, but the problem is, um, where are you gonna get dressed, Ruriko? <laughs> no, no, serious question. Are you wearing a swimsuit underneath your um, dress? Uh, let's do that. Okay, I'll join you. <laughs> no, no. Oh, sure. Alright, alright, sure, I'll turn around. Not, but not without taking a peek first, alright? <laughs> oh man. I thought she was wearing her swimsuit under her clothes. Oh, guess I was wrong. Nope, so, so, so she isn't wearing anything under her clothes, except for her bra. Uh, yeah, underwear, of course, yes. My heart started pumping really hard. I did exactly as she told me, and of course I didn't try to peep. Though, would I be able to hear her getting undressed if I listened closely? <laughs> I guess doing that meant I was still a petty person. I didn't hear anything. Ruiko, are you alright? Okay, <laughs> well, I was kind of expecting that she'd be wearing her school swimsuit and not... Obviously not the bikini or what. <laughs> but it's still something, it's still something. <laughs> Yes, Ruriko? Yeah? Mama. What, what, what? Are you okay, Ruriko? Are you standing in my body? Her eyes were suddenly ablaze. Her gaze was planted squarely on me. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> that, are you going to touch my body? Can I touch yours too? <laughs> oh, not at all. <laughs> I was a little embarrassed. That. What? What's that? Th th that? I don't think I've shown off my body to her often enough for her to say always, though. Can you please define what fine art and eros mean? <laughs> what the hell is that? Huh? Eros? Okay, now I know what you're referring to. I know what the statue of David is, right? And you know the statue of David 
is well naked, right? So you know that thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> uh, if I recall, that statue is completely good, right? <laughs> oh my God, Ruriko! Something tells me she brought this up on purpose. She always does that, <laughs> so yeah, expected. Thanks. Yeah, see? Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't possibly feel bad hearing her pace me like that. Let me guess. Boxes. <laughs> see, I'm so smart. I can pretty much predict the script. <laughs> I nodded. When I first met Ruriko-san, I was driven out of my room and ended up wandering around in the cold in nothing but my boxes. I mean, that's the only thing he has, right? I mean, he doesn't have any swimming trunks, so... Back then, I figured no one would be awake to see me like that. Yeah, I think this one we don't need to think back on that morning because, yeah, I remember this scene pretty well. Yeah, that's the scene where, you know, he was hiding yeah, his... Boxes was hiding behind the bushes, but eventually they get exposed anyway, after he went to grab the bread, yeah, so, yeah, we don't need to reflect on this. Ruiko, those are not running shots. <laughs> uh, no, to tell you the truth, I don't have a swimsuit yet. I explained, and added that Vansense didn't explicitly require students to own one. So yeah, I assumed this would be fine. It's not like I can't swim in them or anything. <laughs> easy going, yeah. In front of you, I can be easy going, yeah. Wow, Ruiko, <laughs> I love you already. Oh. <laughs> Actually, what, what do you mean by easy going? Do you mean like man who gives in to you or something? <laughs> no, no. I think, yeah, I think it's more like get along well, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you. I scratched my head and my expression loosened. Okay, we're getting ready to swim. Are oh, you going to jump? Oh, psh, alright. It's still pretty cool, huh? Warm-up exercises. Oh, okay, so they did. After doing warm-up exercises, we started racing around the shore like so. All the same. Seeing her up close like this really did accentuate her breathtaking figure. On top of that, her long, smooth arms and legs were white as snow and seemed to practically shine beneath the sun summer sunlight. The water is so clean. But that happens later, right? They swim here? Wow, a bunch of girls would all line up along this lake shore, huh? That would be quite a sight for sure. Wait, I don't mean that in a pervy way, alright? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember that. Because, I mean like, you know, all their summer camps are all held here. So, yeah, that's the, this is the only place yeah, that they can go to, really, yeah. I wonder why that is. It's really strange. Well, it's more like one sense is very closed, closed off from the outside world, so that makes sense. 
私たちは教えられていますが。That I can understand because you don't want your skin to turn to dark, to tan, right? Must your skin, all one single skin must be fair and fair, smooth and white. Not too white, though. 外の人が来ることはありませんからねだからみんなで泳ぐことができるんです I guess so because I don't think anyone would want to like climb all the way up you know just to come here or maybe they just don't know about this place I mean this place would make for a perfect tourist attraction to be honest Are you not allowed to go swimming in the ocean then? 宿女が人前で肌を晒すものではないとのことです After giving some thought, I realized how special I was for getting the chance to see Ruiko san in a swimsuit like this. I'm really glad I came to Fan Sans. <laughs> Just for Ruiko. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hadn't realized it yet since we were talking the whole time, but the next thing I knew, we were both soaking wet. Water trickled from the tips of Ruiko san's long blonde hair. And her lily white skin repelled the beads of white. Even in that stage, she was mesmerizingly beautiful. Alright. You're right. I wonder if it's because we adjusted first. I thought it might be cool, but it wasn't like that at all. Hey, Panda Bell, you, you doing good over there? No sooner than I heard his cry from a short distance away, did Panda Bell come swimming and splashing by. He really is clever. Even though he was swimming, his little top hat was still dry. <laughs> How smart was he anyway? Yeah, even smart enough not to keep his hat dry. Huh? When Panda Bell jumped up, she hugged him to her chest and laid back on top of the water. Oh, that's the scene. Hey, this is a really cute sight. I would say, you know, Panda Bell lying on, <laughs> on Ruriko's stomach and sleeping, you know, chilling. Let's look at Panda Bell chilling right there. Oh, and, well, Ruriko's lying on the water. Yeah. Looking so beautiful, you know, the, the water shining, sparkling. I like this CG, especially Panda Bell. Of course, Ruiko as well, yes. Oh, Lace around, Panda Bell. You're so lucky. <laughs> Panda Bell looked really comfortable riding on top of Ruriko san. Uh, on top of Ruriko san himself. I'm not sure about this sentence, but okay. Panther Bell, I see. Uh, I'm so jealous of you right now. How I wish I can lie on Rico's stomach too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh, will you be okay if I leave you? Like. You won't drown or something? Oh, oh, actually, you're good at swimming, aren't you? She had mentioned that yesterday. <laughs> She's just good at floating, I bet. Her breast has something to do with that. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's true, considering, considering how skillfully she was floating even now. I wonder why. Maybe it's because you put in a way that makes it easy for you to float. So, yes, something to do with your breath after all. <laughs> uh, Ruriko san, you're not fat though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way she phrased that showed no signs of gloating. Her tone was that of someone very plainly expressing a fact. 
Okay, I'm gonna swim for a bit. Alright. Phew! It really does feel great. The pool opened on June 20th, but it went without saying that I hadn't taken part. I was sure I wouldn't get a chance to go swimming this summer, but swimming in such a beautiful lake was an unexpected delight, in fact even better than the pool. I looked over and saw Ruriko-san floating on the water in the same pose as before. It showed just how mad Ruriko-san was, making it a rather charming view. Alright. So... Are you tired, Masaya? I planned on taking it easy, but ended up doing a front crawl with everything I had. Hey! Ruriko-san waved at me from the shore. I hadn't even noticed her get out of the water. I guess that showed how fired up I had been about it. I waved back and headed for the shore. Oh, Something about this feels oddly liberating. Oh. Liberating free? Metaphorically speaking, it was like I had been reborn. <laughs> okay, like, are you saying that this lake is very rejuvenating or something? Was that just how enjoyable swimming was for me? As the water became shallow, and I broke free of the water from the waist up, that feeling of liberation grew even stronger. I felt free! <laughs> if I had to describe it, it was a dangling feeling. Hmm? Dangling? Is... huh? Um, what's going on? R Masaya, what have you done? Are you dangling Rubiko? <laughs> what? I wasn't reborn. I was my- Oh no! You were- Oh no! I was in my birthday suit! Oh my god, what happened to your boxes? Masaya! <laughs> well, not exactly. Masaya's, you know, the thing is longer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Masaya, what are you doing? <laughs> How the hell did you lose your boxes? And she was staring straight at me! This is, this is, sorry! Oh, back into the water. I withdrew back into the water with tremendous momentum. I get it. My trunks were only held on by elastic. So obviously they would come off if I swam too hard. Oh. Considering how fast I had been swimming, I never even noticed that they had come off. No wonder why he said it's liberating. Because nothing's holding him back, not even his boxes. <laughs> because they're off. Uh, um, Ruriko-san. I called out to Ruriko-san from far enough away in the water to hide my body. Uh, hi. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Uh, could you turn the other way around? I'll put my pants back on once you do. <sighs> once she turned around, I hurried onto the shore and quickly put on my pants. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, but hey, we have an intimate moment. Ruiko-san's face was bright red. Mine probably was too. She always had a calm yet rather odd speech pattern, but I guess she couldn't retain such composure after seeing the genitalia from someone of the opposite sex right in front of her. Um, sorry I was careless. I assumed she'd be mad at me after that blatant act of sexual harassment. Nah, I don't think Ruiko gets mad easily, so you're cool. Oh, in fact, Ruiko enjoys it! <laughs> She slowly shook her head side to side with a dazed expression. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, Ruriko san is enjoying it. Uh, um, that's not the issue here. <laughs> you naughty Ruriko, you. For that matter, I was uncut. Ruriko, why are you trying to imply? Are you trying to 
Um, <laughs> take off, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here then. Ruriko-san walked off, fanning her neck with her hand. She's staggering. It must have been a huge shock for her. She hadn't seemed all that repulsed when we looked at each other, so that was one saving grace. <sighs> Still, I plopped down and hung my head low in shame. I can't believe a girl saw my thing. Naturally, this was a first for me. To be blunt, I was so embarrassed it felt like my face was going to burst into flames. Suddenly, someone patted my shoulder to console me. Pantabelle? Oh, Pantabelle. You really are clever. Thank you. Ah. Then, while I was brought out on the shore and staring idly up at the sky. Oh no, what's, what's going on? Is Ruriko in trouble? Pentabell suddenly started to make a fuss, and I sprung up. What's wrong? Oh no! He was energetically pointing his paws over at the lake. I looked that way, and let out, I let out a shocked yell. Panicked, I leapt to my feet. Ruriko's hat! Her hand was sticking out from under the water. She was clearly struggling. Oh no! She has lost her balance from the... She is now unable to float and is now sinking. Shit! I dove into the lake and swam towards her with all my might. But I wasn't picking up as much speed as I expected to. Oh, it's because I'm wearing pants. Damn, I have to take it off so I can swim faster. <laughs> did, we, did we save her? Alright. Rui goes on! Oh no, she's unconscious! I somehow managed to pick her up in my arms, but she wasn't responding. Th this is bad, we need to give her CPR! The water was so cold, my body began to shiver feverishly. Was Ruriko san not breathing? I forced my exhausted heavy body forward and desperately aimed for land. It should only be a very small shot in distance, but I felt so very far away. I was so out of breath, I felt like I might collapse. Sheer terror was definitely also playing a part in it. Oh no. Oh shit. Rico! Hang on, hang in there! I laid her down on the ground, but she didn't open her eyes. I held my hand over her mouth, and as I expected, didn't feel her breathing. After a moment of hesitation, I immediately got in position to perform CPR, alright. Here comes the kissing. It's alright. I learned this a long time ago at work. I know I can do this. <sighs> right. Alright, you did it, Masaya. You did it. You gave her a kiss too. <laughs> Although, not directly. Well, it is directly, but it's not intentionally. <sighs> I know I can do this. The flip side to that thought was complete anxiety. After she regained consciousness, the relief I felt made my entire lower body give out from under me. If the, even after learning how to do it, I've never had to actually use it for real, so I was so worried. Are you alright, Ruiko? You feeling alright? Ruiko sang went into a coughing fit for a short while, but then she looked up at me with a somewhat radiant expression. Are you alright, girl? I wiped off her mouth with the shirt I had flung aside. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Pentabelle's happy. <laughs> Pentabelle clung to her tightly. Did you swallow any water? Does anything feel wrong? <laughs> I see. Thank goodness for that. 
Oh damn, you fell asleep. Yeah, you shouldn't fall asleep on the water unless you're on a float or something. She had been yawning since this morning. That must have been why she fell asleep. In addition, her mind must have been fuzzy from the shock of what she had seen. That may have been part of it, too. Oh, Riko, you don't have to apologize. Not at all. Oh. Ruriko san sat upright, then pressed her lips with her fingertips. Yeah, I kissed you, Ruriko. Yeah, I did. <laughs> she glanced over at me, then immediately faced downward. A red tinge took to her cheeks. Yeah. It looked like she had realized it already. I guess it would be best if I just told it to her straight. Yes, you should. I gave you CPR. And you know, CPR, we had, you know, we had to kiss, you know. I'm sorry, but it was an emergency. Ruiko-san touched my naked chest. What <laughs> are you doing, Ruiko? Why are you suddenly touching my chest? She must, not, she must not have expected herself to do it, either. And her face burned an even redder. After being submerged in water, those delicate fingertips of hers felt quite cold. Nobody had ever touched my bare skin before. My body went stiff as a bot. Really? <laughs> Not even your father and father? <laughs> oh come on Ruiko, don't make me so don't make me feel guilty. You're not at fault here. No. Heart pounding. Uh, hold on, uh. yeah. Of course, it was my heart that was pounding so hard, but I had this one illusion. Like I could feel her heart beat throughout, through her fingertips too. Have you fallen in love with me? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Her other hand was tracing over her lips over and over. First time, yeah? <laughs> it, it wasn't a kiss. Well, it's still a kiss, but it's not an intentional kiss, but it's still a kiss. <laughs> Why does she look disappointed? And wait, there was no me about it. It absolutely wasn't a kiss. That much should be for certain. Then why don't you do it for real, Masaya? <laughs> you know, I'm playing this route so that I can see you kiss her. <laughs> Come on, Masaya. However, I could still feel the sensation of the moment when her lips touched mine. Plain as day. I couldn't deny that. Oh no. Ruriko-san let go of my hand and quickly rose to her feet. Ah, are you okay? You'll be better if you rested a little bit. I guess the kiss will have to come later. Yeah, why don't we head back? I stood up too. Oh well, no opportunity wasted. As we move on to the second half of this chapter. Yeah, this is definitely nice CG right there. Oh, we're back. We're back at the lake. Or are we going back actually? Oh, right. Even though the mood was different in comparison to the trip up, as we walked back, I was painfully aware of two sets of footsteps, which meant there was no conversation. Of course, I had tried to talk about this and that, however Ruyuko-san seemed totally out of it 
and all of my efforts immediately fell on deaf ears. And when that happened, try as I might, I gradually lost opportunities to kickstart another discussion. Maybe she's lost in thought, I know. Yeah, thinking about, oh no, why didn't you feel like it was a kiss, you know? Oh well. We eventually reached the end of the trail without exchanging anything that you might call a conversation. Likewise, we then arrived at the dorms in silence. When we reached the door, I couldn't take it anymore and said, Um, try not to worry too much about what happened earlier, okay? I'll try not to worry about it either, was how I was going to finish that sentence before she cut me off. Ah, uh, you can't? Her reaction was so different from what I expected that my reply came out as an accidental starter. I wouldn't say that exactly. Unable to tell what she truly meant, my tone turned vague. Look at, look at Ruriko, she wants you, come on Masaya! Ruriko-san's eyes were more serious than I imagined. So I asked her one more time. Was it that surprising? Me giving you CPR? She shook her head. <laughs> Alright, Ruko. That's your you're gonna treat that as your first kiss, alright? Then I'm gonna treat that as my first kiss too. <laughs> no, not really. If you want to see it that way, by all means. I wouldn't say that exactly. I gave her the exact same reply as before. How Ruriko-san truly felt. I couldn't quite get a handle on it. Her expression softened. That hadn't been a bad answer then. Based on how she looked now, I finally understood that Ruiko is starting to love you. She grabbed the doorknob. Oh, then with a tiny nod, she slickly slipped herself behind the door. Phew! I let out a deep sigh and threw myself onto my bed. Since I had been floating on the water for so long, my body felt like it was hovering, in contrast to the solid feel of the bed. Although this floating feeling may have had a lot to do with me giving Ruriko some CPR. Actually, I did give her CPR, right? Yeah, we certainly did. Pinch the nose, face the subject upward, and clear their airway, and a kiss. <laughs> Close the subject's mouth firmly, then slowly and calmly blow air into their lungs. You mustn't use too much force. After doing exactly as I remembered, two or three times, Ruriko-san recovered. So basically you kissed her two or three times. <laughs> I couldn't possibly call that life-saving gesture a kiss. Although it was true that there was lingering soft sensation on my lips I had never experienced before in my entire life. Worrying too much about it won't do me any good. Yeah. I tried to downplay and wrap it all nice and neat like usual, but then I remembered that wouldn't work. Hadn't she told me earlier that she couldn't just not worry about it? Hmm. I brooded over it as I looked up at the ceiling. On second thought, I couldn't afford to ignore this. Look for my opportunity, then talk this through with Ruriko-san. That's what ultimately felt right within my heart. Yeah, that's a good start. Okay. So we move on to the second day of the summer break on the 18th of July. Okay, near the tail end of July, most of the group had returned to one sense. For the first time in a while, although it wasn't really long enough to call it that, everyone got together in the recreation room and exchanged either conversation. Ruiko-san, did you really cut short your trip home midway through? 
I was pretty sure she had told me that she was going to spend the rest of the summer break there. But because of you, Masaya, she decided to cut it. Well, actually, it's partly because of the the thing about Pantabelle. But then, yeah, now she's cutting her trip short because of you, Masaya. I think. See? <laughs> Everyone shocked. Oh, what? Oh, oh, everyone, Chiho. Everyone. <laughs> half a uh, half joke. <laughs> that means you're half serious. Oh, your parents caught a cold? According to Ruriko-san, she had apparently come back because it would be bad if they passed their bark on to her. I think I've seen this before in the common route, I think so. The common route, she also came back early because of this reason, I think so. If I remember correctly, the common route. You really miss me so much, huh, Ruriko? <laughs> she pointed her eyes my way and smiled sweetly. As for the others, a positive expression spread across their faces as they exchanged curious glances. And I think I kind of know what's going to happen next. Probably everyone else is going to like crowd around us and say, What are you doing? Chio frantic frantically shook her head towards Ruiko-san, who now looked quite confused. Yeah, I could imagine how Chio felt. This is really, really nice, huh? Hearing her say that missed me so directly made me ridiculously happy. Um, you've had your moment, Ayaka. <laughs> Ah, she poked her at my side. Really? <laughs> because I'm not feeling you. Uh, no, I wasn't suspicious at all. What? You put far more emotion? You mean when you say you wanted to see me? <laughs> oh no, look at you, oh, poor Chiyo. But you have had your moment, Chiyo, so. Didn't you also cut your visit home short, Ritsuko chan? え、やっぱり姉のことが気になったので。いいって言うのに、私についてくるのよ。リツコの花本がなところがあるわよね。姉さんに言われたくありません。ね、でも私はとっても嬉しいです。お姉様、これで一緒に<笑> You and Ritsuko-sama, Konomi. <laughs> Sorry. Konomi-chan was the same as always. Oh yeah, the typical eat and sleep mode. Yes. Actually, there's one more word missing. Play. Eat, play, sleep. Yeah, no work. Oh yeah, I'm sure you did, Ritsuko. Good girl. Good girl. Majime. 
も私もそうですよ何かやることがあるわけでもないし Me neither Did you do anything here? うんまあ友達と会ったくらいかな Were you busy with club activities the whole time, Konomi chan? <laughs> yeah, call me you and your blood sweat tears. <laughs> Kinda scary. <laughs> But she hadn't gone to the lodge on the same day Ruiko's son and I went swimming. It could have turned into a huge problem if she had, yeah. Oh crap. If I remember that, it feels like my head goes totally numb. I quickly brought up another topic to try and bring my thoughts back to the present. What about you, Ruiko san? Ah, big party, gala. Oh, a gala. That was quite a high society term. But o s a m a t o s t e a m a t a r a t a n o k o n y a k s h a o do you k o k o r o z u m o r i a r u n o d a t o m o Uh, but I thought your father already accepted me. What's going on? Yeah. Rise-san smiled with relief. And so did I. Alright. 